Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to some more FM 2022 where we are still playing with Wisdom and in the second best division in our fourth season. Yeah, fourth season it is. So um, we are getting into the mid-season here and we got... I'm, and I'm gonna go over them quite quickly because we got 10 games in between episodes here to look at uh, just in, in these reviews, right? So I'm gonna go the, over them fairly more quickly than I normally do. But there is a couple of the games that are... You know, a little bit interesting to just talk a little bit about. Uh, so, so some of them will be longer than others, but there is one big deal near the end here that we need to talk about, um, or actually when we're finished with all these reviews, and it's gonna be exciting. We're also gonna play three games today, so it, we need to get through this, right? We need we need to get there. So the first game here against Atletico La U, you can see it's a victory, pretty solid performance, decent match, clean sheet, three points. Goals from Berdaccio, Rosas, and a brace from Chambi. Play of the match, also Chambi. Next up is Deportivo Chalon. They were eighth in the league. We were playing at home. Another good game, not conceding, and it is important to keep winning these games rather than you, rather than losing, of course, but especially against these really weak opponents because they're not very good. And we need to keep up with the Universitario Di Vinto because they keep winning as well. So yeah, there we go. Goal from Villa and a brace from Cap, who deservedly so also grab the player of the match. So there we go. Academia. This is uh, one of the big boys. They were number two in the league when we played them, actually in front of us. And away from home, so yeah, uh, big game. They are playing a 4-4-2 counter-attacking football. We know that that's our nemesis. So I went in with our normal, ba well, the balance tactic. Not the normal tactic, but the balance tactic. And uh, yeah, that uh, that seems to be uh, the right tactic against these opponents uh, with them playing that. So um, the Tiki Taka still worked playing through their lines and finding space in behind their uh, defenders and the midfielders here. And that is where two of the goals came from for Rosas here, uh, both of them. Played through the mid from our midfielders uh, and, and, and cutting through their central defenders. So uh, well done by Rosas, also Salazar with the goal. And I believe player of the match was Champi getting those two assists actually cutting through their midfield and uh, through their central defenders playing Tiki Tagger in there. So it was definitely the right choice going for the uh, balance tactic here. But it was a pretty even match. I gotta say it was an even match, but it was uh, it was a tricky one. It was a tricky one where we came out on top. Nueva Santa Cruz, 11th in the league, away from home, on paper, something we should definitely win. It was a pretty hard match in the end, played on an extremely, oh, well, we, we played on an extremely narrow um, pitch here. So their home, home pitch is really, really, really narrow. And um, I've seen that before, and it seems to be a new nemesis of ours. We don't like that. We like, we like a wider pitch, right? Uh, actually, most of the match I actually played it on the balance tactic uh, before going back on the normal tactic because we were getting behind. We were actually behind for uh, for a while there, uh, two one. We were uh, in in the second half there. So, but uh, thankfully, going back to our normal tactic, we did manage just about getting those goals that we needed and and then some <laughs> and then some of course uh, but uh, I, I didn't feel comfortable about this match you can see down here in the xg how fast we were getting goals near the end probably because of some poor condition of their side actually it doesn't look that oh it's over here yeah it, it's it's not that bad so uh but thankfully we did get the win here san antonio bulo bulo no idea what it means but that's their name <laughs> <laughs> they were 10th in the league, we were at home, of course something we need to win. It was a good game, we did concede, but at least it wasn't a free goal this time around. Goals from Cruz, Rosas, Chavez and Bueso. Play of the match, Chavez. Argentinos Juniors, they were also 10th after the last match and um, yeah, away from home and uh, well, 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 here we go again. And it's not for lack of trying, but uh, honestly, I think this is um, I think this is where the group was actually lost. Uh, if we are losing the group, this is probably where we lost it. This is where we lost two points, um, to be honest. So, um, Universitario, what you don't know, what I do know at this point, that is that University was two games ahead of us actually at this point, winning them all. I mean, yeah. So they were two points, ahead, six points ahead of us at this time. Uh, so at this stage, they were at 45 points and we were at 37 points. Um, that was that was not really any room for losing points here if we wanted to keep up with them. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we might get second spot. At least that is what I thought at this stage. 
But we did manage to get back to winning against Nueva Clisa, sixth in the groups, and we're playing at home. Not the worst, but not the best either of this game, but uh, we were struggling a little bit with injuries and fitness at this moment in time, so yeah, uh, it is what it is, right? Goals from Rosas, Bueso and Chambi, play of the match, Bueso, there you go, mate. So uh, yeah, let's move on. Academia once again, this time at home, and they were just behind us actually at this moment in time. I think they were four points behind us or something like that. Not, not that it means anything because they cannot, they cannot get promoted, so they don't matter in the top two race. But it does matter that we could get points from them, and we didn't really manage to do that. Again, it was a pretty even game, as we can also see in the XG match history here. Pretty even game with both teams having their duels in in the ba in the match where they are getting forward, but. 1-1, one, one, it, it wasn't the result I was looking for, absolutely not, and um, yeah, at this point I, I thought, okay, th this is probably going to be it, this is probably going to be where we are not getting the first spot. Um, so yeah, cap with uh, the goal and also the uh, play of the match. Well, so here we are, Mochukoya, and uh, to be honest, they were the only real threat left to uh, get into top 2, because the other guys, Academia, cannot do it. We, uh, if we win, we, if we did win this, we would go ten points above them, which you can clearly see we did. And we only have four games left after this one, so effectively securing a top two because I don't think we're gonna lose, uh, you know, that many points <laughs> in the last four games. So effectively, I think we have won the second spot um, with winning this one. Um, but yeah, th there we go. It's 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 pretty good game and a good result and performance against these guys uh, away from home. It definitely is. Likely getting it over the line for the playoffs, so uh, I think I, I, I just think it's hard to bottle this one from here on out. Goals from Rosa, Diaz and Champi, play of the match, Cruz. The last of the bunch is Atletico La U, or whatever you, how you pronounce that, I don't know, I don't even know what the U is standing for, university maybe? I don't know. <laughs> no idea, but we are away from home and they were 11th in the league, I think they're bottom of the league now actually. Um, so yeah, another good result, pretty pretty decent here. No, con nothing conceded or anything. So they didn't really, they didn't really have anything to be honest. Goal from Alvarez, Cap, and Anas. So uh, yeah, there we go. Is he called Anas? Wait, hold on. Anes, not Anas. Yeah, Anes. <laughs> Alvarez with a play of the match. So there we go. That is the last game that I have played. We have we have three more to go, so uh, but there is something else we need to look at here. Well, before we look at that thing that I was just mentioning, we have to look at the table. So as you can see, we are two points behind Universitario Divinto. Like I said, there is no room to lose any points here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I think it's it's likely gonna come all down to us playing them uh, at home. If we can win that match, there is a very good chance we can go top of the group. If we lose any of the matches from here on out, anything, I think they're gonna get it then. I think they're gonna get it. Um, because they haven't lost. I had, like us, they haven't lost. They have got a, got a couple of draws, but they have one more win than us, so... Yeah, <laughs> but pretty much. I mean, we are not gonna drop the second place, right? We're not. That's not gonna happen from here on out. I don't think Moyokoya is gonna win uh, three of their games and us losing three games. Uh, I don't see that happening. Um, so uh, yeah, there is that. Now, one thing we need to talk about before we're getting into the matches. You can maybe see it up here. Must respond. Let's click on it because it is a must respond to a job interview. I've already looked at this team. They are nowhere near as good as the strongest, the one we were having a talk to the last time. But I still think this is a 400k value team, right? It's uh, it's not a bad team um, in terms of their uh, uh, what's it called finances, right? Um, but they're not they're not really you know they're not that great. But they are in the first uh, division. But if we're going into an interview with them, I want to tell them I do not want to change before the season is over i do not want to join them before the season is over because i want to get this playoff i want to get into the playoffs and actually bring them up there i, w I want to bring this team wilsterman up to the next league and then we can make our change over to national potosi if if they want us um also because of the finances right and because of the arab bigger club and all that so let's go into an interview with them here and see what we can do um we are gonna say what is this you must what you have so far? Yeah, okay. You, you, we only managed one club. What are we gonna say? 
Uh, I've dedicated more time, patience and emotion to my job than I dare to remember. Let's go with that one. Uh, you have never been able to win a trophy. Well, I've never been in a position complete uh, for on blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, the club would be looking for a candidate capable of performing to competition expectation. Something our last manager did not do. Are you confident in handling? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, what? I'm confident of, of achieving every target set for me if I get the job. Let's promise that. I am actually, I'm very comfortable about stuff like that. There we go. Are you the right person to turn this underachieving club around? Absolutely, I am. I back myself to come in and take... What? Make an immediate difference. Absolutely, I, I believe in that. And uh, we would like to know what do you intend to establish yourself as the club manager? Are you able to take charge now or do you need more time to join the club? I do need time. I'm sorry, but that's the case. Um, I prefer to see the season out of my current club before joining. Yes. Uh, what sort of budget are you anticipating needing to put together your backroom staff? Nothing. Um, honestly, nothing. Um, yeah, uh, I don't need any budget required here for the, for the backroom staff. Uh, our long-term vision outlines the next... Okay, so what is it? Under 23s, work within the budget, division professional not judging, okay. Uh, professional team, continue... Okay, so just continue in the league, right? So they just want to be in the league in the first division, that's about it. Okay, um, agree. And that's it, I guess. That's fine. What? Oh, okay, we got more. Do you have any requests to consider and blah, 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 blah? Make demands. Hmm... No, not not at this moment, because I don't know enough about them to say that I want to do something here. Nah, I have nothing. No pro uh, no proposal. There we go. So, that could happen doing while we are playing here the last three games. Likely so, that we are going to see if it's unsuccessful or not. <sighs> but, I, I mean, now we need to get to this match. So, uh, I'm going to continue until we are at a Torre Ferrete game here. Well, that did not take long. Um... <laughs> <laughs> National Potosi approaching Q. Now I can already now see that uh, they only want to give me 300 pounds, which is 100 and something pounds under what we get right now in this club. So in terms of us going for the money, well, that's not the case. Um, so I'm 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 inclined to say no to this deal. Um, probably. Start negotiating. They want yeah, 300. It's, it's no. I mean, I would uh, I would be mad. I mean, if I'm using my existing contract here to see what I got, 475. It's 175 pounds under what I do get. Um, I don't care about how long the contract is actually, and I can also remove that. Um, but but this needs to go up. And uh, I would say anything under 600. Nah, I'm gonna I'm not gonna move then. Then I'm gonna sign a new contract for uh, Wilterman instead. Uh, yeah, so that's the deal, man. That's, uh, yeah, okay, well, they, they are probably not going to go for it. Um, because I'm not going to go anywhere near on the 600 here. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's where I am at. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So, uh, easy talk to them. Easy, <laughs> easy talking to them. They want to lowball me and uh, not going to happen. Not going to happen. Oh, well, here we go. Another one is coming in for us. This time it's real Potosi. I'm actually not sure I want to go to them because right now they look like they are going down. So why would I uh, go to a club going down? Honestly, I wouldn't. I, j I just, I just wouldn't. Um, nah, I'm, I'm going. I'm just gonna straight up tell them no, thank you. Um, there might be more coming in for us, but this one is not for me. I don't want to get into a new team that is uh, going down to the league we are in. So, no, no, thank you. Alrighty, so here we are, Torre Ferrete, and they are sixth in the league. If we win this one, we are guaranteed the top two. I am pretty much looking at these matches as friendlies for the playoffs. <laughs> I am playing uh, my uh, rotation two option, and, lo and a lot of these guys are actually coming back from small injuries and stuff. Especially Villa here has come back from an injury. He's not match sharp. Padilla as well. So a couple of these guys are not really something that have played a lot uh, recent, uh, recently. Because we had a lot of injuries, like a couple of weeks ago, and now they are starting to come back getting into fitness again. And now we need to play them here in these matches. So uh, I think we are pretty much ready to go into this one except from going in here and clicking that what is this saying mark no nah, not mark title but trigger press always trigger press yeah there we go but we are ready to get into it we got three matches so we need to hurry up here we are we are not happy i don't want to make over an hour uh, per episode I, I really don't unless it's a uh, maybe maybe sometimes in the uh, what is it called uh, transfer window preseason always pressure taboka taboka we already do that move on 
Right. I mean, I, I wish I could win uh, the group, but I'm, I'm not going to go too detailed into I don't want to play on, on, on anything but key highlights here because I do want to play all three in this. Uh, so we are playing on key highlights. Um, usually when I make any changes in the matches, I need to see extended because otherwise I don't have enough information for me to go by. Uh, the statistics is fine, but usually I make my most of my... It's a, it's a mix of statistics and seeing what I see in the games. Wow, what Jambi. That could be goal of the season right there. I mean, he's been good. He's been... I mean, he's been... I thought he was like my third or fourth choice central midfielder, right? Or fifth, sorry, fourth or fifth choice. I didn't expect him to play play as much as he did, but he also kept fit, right? He he, he was just there, available to play, and he's been he's been good. He's he's been I, I don't know if he's been the best of the of the lads in the midfield, but he he's up there. He's definitely up there. Scored a lot of goals, but just consist consistently having good games. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's that was a goal. That was a goal, all right. Um, I thought these Toro Ferretti would be our biggest opponents, but not really. <laughs> Not really, to be honest. Um, it, 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 it kind of was Mochukayo or whatever that name is. I think Mochukayo was the biggest opponent, actually, in the end. Um, a little bit of a surprise, I would say. A little bit of a surprise, but there always is. There is always a surprise in the league, in the group stages, right? Always. So far, so good. 30 minutes in. Nothing really shown except from that goal, so, you know... If we, if we could grab one more goal, I would be happy about that and then just move on. Yellow card for Chambi, outswinger here. Oh, oh! Ooh, hello, Rosas on the far post uh, from a header of someone getting an, on the uh, crossbar. Not sure who, who headed on the headed it on the crossbar. Let's see that again. Who was it? Maybe Villa? Oh, no, it was actually a uh, Minner here coming up. <laughs> Crazy header. Jumping in. But uh, Rosas is where he is supposed to be and uh, got his goal. So 2-0 in the first half, really good, solid. Not uh, giving them any chances either, that's even better. I mean, you can't lose a game if, uh, if they don't have any chances, right? I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, and it's, I'm not playing into that right now. We're playing pretty high lines and all that. They're just not good enough to get in behind us for some reason. All right, second half underway. Mm, yeah, all good, all good. We can also see it. I, I, I like playing against these types of uh, teams that are playing a 4-1-4-1 because only one striker up there is not going to threat us. It is not going to be a threat to us. We can mark all their wingers and their lone striker easily and, and deal with that. But if they got two strikers, that is where it's dangerous. Instead of that defensive midfielder, that is where we have you know, seen some struggles, right? Seems like they are trying to do something now. They're probably playing a little bit differently, but they, they still don't really produce anything too uh, too good two long shots and uh, a blocked shot or whatever off target up here so yeah i actually use this more and more i don't know why but it's uh, it's actually a good indication of how they also play i'm, I'm using all the all the statistics here i think that this this statistic from tato is probably the best screen inside the matches i think he's probably the best to do them or he, i don't know if someone has done them the same way oh hello peace God, Bueso, what the hell happened there? What was that? And we need to do some uh, some subs here. Um, I don't know. Maybe Cruz. He's complacent. Bueso, just just to have them ready for next match as well. I'm thinking here. Uh, I, I kind of want Milgar in because he's not really fit. I'm putting him in instead of Rosa. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna. gonna Keep that, uh, keep that, you know, tactical sub. <laughs> Not a tactical sub, but I'm gonna keep that sub. But yeah, I think this screen is probably one of the best out there, just because you have all this information right here, right? Um, you you do have a lot of information elsewhere as well. But where this one is just better than most skins is the passing network. I'm 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 often using this when I have, you know, when I'm playing off recording and I'm just. Pausing the game all the time, looking at stuff, heat map, pa pa pausing map, back to the match analyze, and just looking at stuff. I'm using it quite a lot, but of course here on key maps uh, or key highlights, it's it's going really fast. So yeah, not not too much here. I'm actually looking a lot of the XG and also where they are shooting from and just the match stats and stuff like that. Just getting a generally good idea on the heat map as well. 
generally good idea of what is going on in a match when you don't really see much of the match, right? But usually I do love to see the match a lot more than I do here. And I know I keep saying it, but I, I just don't want to make the episodes too long or too many episodes per... Wow, I thought that would go in. I don't want to make too many episodes per season either. So that's why I'm playing key highlights um, here. Okay, I think we can do the last one here. Only five minutes left. I don't really see anyone that I really need to take off. So I'm going to go with what I think would be ideal to have in the next game. I'm actually worried about that yellow. So why not just take it off? Rochazen, Ruiz. Yeah, let's go Ruiz. Let's bring Ruiz. Ruiz. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. As it goes with most of the names. So it seems like a 3-0 victory here unless something is happening in this highlight. Doubtful. Oh, it could be. It could, nah, nah, nah. If anything, it's going to go over the top here from the goalkeeper. And uh, not winning this one? Nope, we are winning it. Okay, then, then nothing. Then it's just probably nothing. I mean, we haven't seen what this key highlight is yet, so it could be a, you know, a, a through ball for us. Maybe we're playing through them. Maybe a cross? No, I don't know what this is. Okay, there we go. So it's going to be a cross. There we go. Pena. We're lovely. 4-0. I'll take that. I'll take that. Picture perfect what we are trying to do against them, right? Get in behind them with our uh, complete wing backs and then a low cross into one of our pressing forwards. All the shadow, uh, uh, shadow striker. That's 100% what we're looking for in goals. Bang in. Easy peasy tab in for Pena. Ah, I mean, it's not a tab in, but it's just... It's not a hard goal to get, right? <laughs> it's not a hard goal to get when you're in that position in the first place. Well, there we go, 4-0, victory. Very good, very, very good. Who got the play of the match here? We have Badisia with play of the match. Interesting. Okay, the uh, defensive midfielder, or, um, well, in this case, it's a halfback. One assist. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know why he got it, but uh, he did. He did definitely get it. So, uh, there we go. Lovely job, job done. We can get on with our life. Oh, guess who is bottling? Universitario de Vinto bottled the game. They lost their first against Cochabamba. Oh, 3-1 loss. That's very, very good to see. So we're top of the league right now. All right, so second game here. And uh, it's against a San Antonio Bulu Bulu. And we're away from home. And I'm gonna play uh, some of the players that are struggling for sharpness here. Like I said, I'm, I'm pretty much using these for friendlies. Yes, it would be nice to win the group, but it's more important to get these guys back to fitness and not risk any injuries on the important players for the playoffs, right? So uh, we're gonna go in like that. We are gonna go in here on the opposition, click that, get it over the line and basically just get into the game. And hopefully these uh, guys looking for some fitness will hopefully bring it over the line, give us a win. And never press a pinto. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Never press a pinto. There we go. Kick off and off we are. Nice. Ah, I still think we're going to win, even with all those players not really being fit. I still think we're winning, but... I could be wrong. <laughs> They're getting the first shot off. That's never a good sign. Oh, here we go. Fernandez might be in. I don't think he was offside. Okay, mm Padilla. He's just coming back from an injury. Candy are same deal, actually. Let's see. If he can get it in. Cross, low cross. Chavez and Villa should really have gotten that. Villa is also getting back from an injury. Chavez is probably the only guy up front that are uh, really fit. Probably also the best striker we have. Alrighty. Was that a yellow for us? No, it wasn't. It was for their team. Can we get it here? Yes. Villa into Chavez. He's in. Oh, he's going to go wide. He usually do quite well going wide. He, he, he sometimes finds some absolutely crazy goals when he's going wide. <laughs> not sure how he does it, but uh, this time around, not so much. But I'm uh, a little bit less concerned with what we have seen now. Padilla getting in there. Oh, Chavez. Back to Gadilla. Candier, actually. Over to Fernandez. Oh, uh, it's lovely football, but <laughs> yeah, r right next to. Uh, you, you're just, uh, you know, shooting right into their uh, goalkeeper's hands. Not not great by Milga. Oh, okay. That's not good. Okay, that's a good tackle, but still, that was close. 
a little bit too close for comfort, right? It wasn't really a big chance for them, but um, you, you, you don't like to see that. <laughs> but you do like to see your uh, central defender getting back, being quick enough to get back and do the tackle. You do like that. <laughs> uh, okay, Candier picking up the second ball here. Into the midfield. No, he's going all the way back. Padilla, now out to Candy again. Finding space. Uh, not really. Padilla. Rojas, oh, almost lost it. Oh, there we go. Melgar, he's in. Oh, that's a piss poor effort. <laughs> uh, you know what? He's, he's finishing and stuff. is not really great. Either his composure or anything. Uh, he's not the best. Uh, he's the third third option of Shadow Striker. So we need maybe need to put someone in that can actually score the goals there. Because often Shadow our Shadow Strikers and even our complete wingbacks do get a lot of goals. So uh, oh, Milgar again. Ah, oh, this time he does finish it off. Good, very good. Not offside or anything. So there we go. One nil about the 22 minutes. Good to see. And Candier get his assist. I believe it was Milgar a goal. Yeah. One of the guys coming back for fitness is uh, is getting it over the line here. Yeah, it's a good little cross in there. Milga just, you know, touch, just just a small touch and it's in. Sometimes you don't, you just don't need more with the way we are playing with those low crosses. You just need to touch it and get it in. Sometimes the goalkeeper will get it. Sometimes he, he won't. It's that's about it. All right, I would like to get one more goal so we don't concede late in the game. That would be lovely, but uh, I don't think we have in any of our games conceded more than one goal, actually. Yeah, I don't think so, no. Nah, yeah, there was one game where we won 5-2, yeah? Yeah, so we have conceded more than one in one of the, those games, but still, it's, it's not happening very often. Okay, Salazar, Fernandez, Rutias getting out. Oh, hitting the crossbar. Not a bad little shot. That is half time. There we go. Now it's half time. Oh, we don't have what? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, pass map. Eh, we got a lot of room in here for Mel guys. Not really using the advantage here for him. Ah, he kind of is. He is. He is using it. It's just uh, not uh, shown in the pass map because he's coming deep to get the passes. So he's not. He's not connecting with anyone. When he's moving up there, he's not connecting in with anyone. When he gets this further far, uh, further up here, that is where he is getting the ball and actually taking a shot. What? Which what? That is also what we saw in the key highlight, right? So that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything. Move on. Start second half. They're doing okay. Mm, I would like Villa to get a goal. He was really great before his injury. He scored a lot of goals. was really, really great in there. Along with Chavez. Uh, Pena hasn't been awesome, but he's been okay. Uh, but definitely Chavez and Villa has been the best two strikers. And I would love to see Villa get it back into it here. But he might not. We might need to stop him as well because he is, yeah, um, getting down in condition. Uh, but yeah, we can do some late subs here, maybe. Let them play as long as we can for the fitness and condition to go up. Not the condition, the fitness. Sharpness, that is. Padilla, Candier, he's already been good this far in this game. Candier getting that assist. And again, he's taking his man. Pretty good cross, actually. Villa picking it up. Ah, almost Melgar. Almost getting his brace. Winners? Yes, Terrasas. He's been great as well, Terrasas. Pretty good youngster. Pretty good youngster. Alright. 75 minutes in. I think we can easily make some subs here. Padilla looking nervous. Hasn't been good. Uh, yeah, the condition is going down. Let's bring in... Cap, I think. I don't want to use Chambi here. I want to use him for the... Uh, actually, I want to use Cap as well for the uh, next game, but... Uh, you know what? I'd actually like to bring the other guy. Let's bring Chambi here. He's normally he's normally playing there anyway. Who else? Uh, I think the wingbacks, but... They haven't been bad. Uh, we have a Salazar who is complacent. We never like to see complacent people. Rodriguez? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, let's save the last sub. Oh, there we go. Wow, Rogers with a shot from the range here. Uh, just after the box. Flat. Flat shot into the corner. Is Candy getting another assist here, maybe? No. Padilla is picking one up before he's getting topped off. Nice shot, actually. That's actually a pretty good shot. 
Well done, Rogers. Yeah, we will proceed with the uh, substitute here after that goal. Well, there we go. 2 0. Now I feel perfectly comfortable about just, you know, skipping the rest of the match. <laughs> I mean, we haven't seen. Okay, here we go. Uh, free cakes is always a concern for me. They, uh, we have conceded quite a few from free cakes. Not this one. Well done by Carlos here, getting it out. I mean, you should probably have done better, but still. Just, you know, just dealing with it. Not that, That's good enough for me. That's what a goalkeeper is there for. Just keeping it out of the goal, right? That's about it. How he does it, I don't care. If he keeps it out of the goal, I'm good. <laughs> uh, well, at least here in the... You know, well, it, it depends. It depends. If you're playing in the Premier League and you have someone like... Uh, uh, who was I thinking about? The, the Liverpool... Um, what is he called? Allison, right? Then you probably want him to be pretty good on the ball as well. But uh, down here in Bolivia, in the second division, you just want your goalkeeper to keep it out. <laughs> keep a clean sheet. That's about it. And you don't care how he does it. Just as it, <laughs> He can do it in any way he likes. <laughs> uh, we did have one more sub. I didn't use it. Uh, that's pretty stupid. Fernandes, Cruz. There we go. Easy sub. But I think it's over. Yeah, I don't I don't see any highlights here. No, it's just this is end of highlight highlight. <laughs> Completely pointless. At, at least uh, 99 out of 100 times and that one time it's going to be a goal but not this time. There we go. Full time. Pretty decent match. Um yeah, goals from Melgar, Rojas. Who uh, who scored the, the other goal? Oh, there was only two. I thought there was three. No, no, no. Okay. Fine. Yeah, 2-0. Yeah, it's it's perfectly fine here. It's okay, with all the players we are uh, getting in there who was not really sharp for this match, I think 2-0 is pretty decent. So uh, yeah, there we go. So it all comes down to this last game against the Universitario di Vento. We are in front of them, because they fucked up and bottled it. <laughs> uh, so we can actually get away with a draw here, but I'm not gonna play for a draw, I'm gonna play for the win. <laughs> Because I'm stupid. And it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, it does matter a little bit because we do actually get the accomplishment. If we get the, if we win the group, it will actually say it on our manager thingy where you can see accomplishments. So it, it does matter a little bit, but I'm still, because the way they are playing, they're playing, uh, we can actually see it in here, the opposition. I haven't done it. A 4 1 2 3, which is very good for how we are playing normally. So I'm not gonna play our, you know, uh, a balanced kind of tactic. I'm gonna go in with what we normally do. Uh, also because we are at home. Uh, trigger press, yes. And this guy... Do not hold back tackles. Okay. We. Uh, whoops. And click on that dude alone. And then trigger a press, tackle harder, and also weaker foot. There we go. Laredo. I think, I think, yeah, I remember doing that the last time around as well. So there we go. So, last match of the uh, groups. So, yeah, here we go. I don't, uh, we have a fairly strong team, but we also have a couple that, again, I'm going to play Villa to get his fitness up for the playoffs. I also got Padilla in there. Yeah, his fitness is also not really there, but uh, it is what it is. It's still a pretty solid team out there, I gotta say. It's a pretty solid team. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they're gonna be. It looked like Carlos has really been the best goalkeeper, so maybe I should play him here. You know what? I'll bring him in. I'm, so, I'm sorry, mate, but you have, you, have, you have played nine games. It's not bad either. He's been playing 12th for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. <laughs> but overall, all these guys have been getting enough playtime, right? So let's get into it. Let's just get into it. Let's get it over with. Winners takes it all. <laughs> or us drawing will also take it all, but... Uh, hard one tackling, we have already done that. Kick off, go. Alrighty. The playoffs. We are likely going to play those on uh, extended highlights. Because they are a little bit more important than this game. And, uh, and, and the other games we played in this episode. But I, I do tend to play on key highlights. And I want to play on key highlights when we can do it. When we got two games only, we can definitely play on extended highlights. That there is There should be enough time to do that. All right, let's see. They get the first highlight here, it seems, after 14 minutes. I'm not, yeah, I'm not surprised to be honest. And it's a good one. Oof, that was close. Can we counter them? No. So, 15 minutes in, and it does look like, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't like what I'm seeing here. I'm gonna go balanced. I'm gonna go balanced for a moment. Because I don't like this at all. I don't... Or standard is what I'm calling it. Because I don't like this. I, I want to nullify what they are doing right now. And maybe get a counter off. Alright. Another highlight for them, maybe? Well, at least we should be a little bit more solid behind us now. Not letting their wingers in too, uh, too often. Um, can we get a counter? Would be an ideal situation for a counter right here. They're really far up. No, it's gonna be for them. Oh, this guy! Well done, Carlos. Well done. That was a really good goalkeeping moment there. But yeah, it's, uh, it doesn't look great right now. They're, they're, and and I'm, I'm a little bit surprised how bad it's going in this first half. At home, at least. We were playing okay against them in the first time. The well, first time we played against them away from home. But this time, yeah, we are not seeing anything. Ooh, again here. Not too great. Mm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Come on. It's really hard to get the ball off them. Oh, again this guy. Jesus. Again? Are you kidding me? He, he's just getting on the ball all the time. How can we stop this guy? How can we stop this guy? Jesus. Uh, who is he? It's this guy, Pizarro. Absolute danger, man. I don't know, we already... I mean, we probably have too many... Uh, let's actually go back on this. Personalize that. Uh, weaker food, that's fine. Hmm. Um, yeah, I am. Um, since we do not really, I, I'm tempted to also personalize this guy and this guy. And uh, never. Well, not never, but just don't really do it. Because we, we can't really. If we can't really get the ball that way anyway, it doesn't really matter that if we mark them. We want them to mark their danger boys. <laughs> the danger boys. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a piss poor first half, of course. Wow, that's. It's one of the worst halves I've seen in in many seasons, actually. We just didn't get anything here. I, I think we should go out and actually try and do something again. Because what we are seeing is not working, right? It's not working at all. So let's just try and go in again and, and see if we can do something. But yeah, again, it's, it's a little bit concerning because we, we know that a draw is going to be enough here. So, uh, we sh again, if I'm seeing too many things for them, okay... Now we're pressing up high on them, and we do get them to go over the top, which is good for us. But we don't get the second ball. That's the problem. We don't get the second ball. And now they're going over the top, and they're in. They're in. Uh, the danger boy. He got us. Piece of shit. Yeah, and, and that's that was the... Uh, now I can't go back, man. Now we need to go for it, because we're chasing the game now. So they are likely gonna win the win the. Uh, I'm just surprised how good they are. I'm I'm just honestly surprised how good they are and how bad we are against them. Really surprised how how bad this is going. I'm I'm again concerned about the playoffs now because if we are not better than this team, then we cannot beat them in the playoffs either because they're gonna be in the playoffs. We could play them in the first match, right? And right now it look like it just looks like they're better than us. And I, I don't know if it's tactically or it's uh, their team is just better. Play for set pieces. Do you just do that? Win the second ball. Yes, good job, Cruz. Now play it around. Just play it around like you normally do, man. It's it's like get it into the midfield here. There we go. And then when we have time, get it out. Yes, got the hot candy. Exactly. He can run down the line, cross it back into someone, and then we can find more space for him. That was offside, but okay, fair enough. <sighs> Okay. Uh, we need to. We uh, yeah. Skip that. For fuck's sake! I was I was I was just clicking tactic when it popped up. We need to get these guys off who are not playing well. Alvarez in. Rosas not playing well. Get him off. I need to take chances here. I need to get some other players in there. That is not apprehensive and nervous and you know. We also got the yellows, but I can't really deal with them right now. 
We got one shot on target. That's just unacceptable. I'm gonna go very attacking. We need to go f even f faster in our playstyle. Okay. Likely, you know, them going over the top here. Yeah. Or not. Okay. All right, out to cruise. Could be something here. If he can just... Ooh, I, was, I was a little bit worried about that one. Adila, that's a good ball into Chambi. He can move it over to the other side, or Alvarez maybe. Oh, we get playing through the mid here, and a good chance. Oh, it's hitting the crossbar. Close, close. Terraces over the top to Chavez. I don't think he was offside. Cruz. Oh, Alvarez. Oh, mate, you need to take your chances there. Mm. New legs out here. An X, an S coming in. New legs on the complete wing back. Likely gonna be the best thing for us. Come on, mate. Come on. One goal. That's all we need. One goal. You have so many goals in this season, man. So many goals. We just need one here. At home against Universitario, but it's it's not happening. <sighs> I guess it was the wrong choice to go unbalanced. I guess it was. I mean, they scored while I was on the more attacking style, but 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 I think um, not playing on attacking for ooh that could be a chance here. Yeah, it was dropped. Dagenhart dropping the ball into his own net. So pants, complete so pants. Oh my lord, we're winning the group in the 89th minute. Who, who shot that? Alvarez coming in and sh- <laughs> We're so lucky. <laughs> that is so lucky. Oh my. Unbelievable. Sometimes we do get lucky. <laughs> we were so much better in the second half, of course. So much better. Um, there we go. We won the group, I think. I, I know, actually, I know we won the group. We don't even need to, uh, you know, look at it. I know we won it. Right there, there is the there is the confirmation. We got one point over them. 54 points. That's also a lot for two, two, from 22 played. Um, we didn't lose a game in this uh, group stage. Not not one. We have four, was it five draws? But that's it. 60 goals in difference. Wow. Wow, sir. That's a lot of goals in difference from 22 played. Yeah, there we go, guys. Ah, Kandir is uh, getting, uh, you know, a fine here for uh, the, the yellow card he uh, got. So we do not have him for the playoffs, at least not the first game. We don't know what it is yet. So we need to continue a couple of times. It's over here. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it, guys. We also do have the youth intake. I haven't given them any faces yet. I'm going to get to it and hopefully it won't break the game. <laughs> At least I know what it is if it does, right? Because that's why we're playing with new skins and, you know, a complete new list of faces as well for everyone. Just a quick look at this guy. He doesn't look that great. Uh, he could be something, but uh, yeah, it doesn't look like a great intake here. But uh, I'll put some faces on them uh, when I'm done recording. Oh, man, I completely clicked too many times, man. And you know, it that you probably it probably happened to you as well. I wanted to get into the draws and see them, like, but no, nah, I, I clicked too many times, of course. So we are going to play Club Devotivio in next episode. Let's actually go in there and see. What, oops, not those. Uh, nope, 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 that, that. Um, I wanted to go into the playoff spots here. Okay, so we got Universitario against Gran Mamora. Shuani, we know them, EM against Universitario Di Vinto. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be tough, isn't it? <laughs> it's, gonna, it's not gonna be easy. Uh, the question is, how is... Okay, yeah, okay. Um, but, I mean, there are gonna be four teams in there. Hopefully, we're gonna get the weakest of these teams uh, for, our, for ourselves. If we do manage to win against Deportivio in the playoff or the quarterfinal playoff here. Because I'm, call I'm gonna call this the quarterfinal and this the semifinal and this the final. Yeah. Um, so yeah, next uh, next episode is gonna be two legged Deportivo match. It's the first time we are meeting them, so that's gonna be interesting. Don't know anything about them, how they play or anything. Don't know anything. So yeah, it's gonna be exciting. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the playoffs.